Hey there guys, lovely videos this week. Uh, keep me updated on the books you've been reading because I love to hear about them. Uh, so I finally settled into my dorm and my roommate's space is right over there. Uh, you may have noticed it's pretty tidy over there. Um, and that's because she spends all her time on the first floor with her girlfriend, so I pretty much have the room to myself, which is pretty nice. So originally I made a video right after Emily's, but it was around 20 minutes long and that took too long to upload. Uh, I wanted to respond to all the things you said and also the situation I've been having this week. Um, I wanted to give an update before the week ended, so here we are. Uh, this week has been very hard on me to say the least. Uh, in short, um, I had this very negative thinking going on where I just felt like a big failure because of this pressure um, that was on me now that wasn't in Japan. Um, like to lose weight, to eat well, to spend a lot of time with friends, to find a significant other, etc. Uh, it's not the first time I've like felt this pressure, but it felt a lot more intense because I had been gone for so long. And it was difficult to understand what I was feeling, and like actually feeling and really difficult to explain, so it was hard to talk to people about it. Uh, last night, though, I had a conversation with my friend Tuesday, her real name's Julia, that's just her nickname. Uh, we've known each other for a couple years, um, and we were in Japanese class together, and we went to Nagoya together, and we came back to go together. Uh, and then we gave each other our insights and troubles, and it really made a difference to like how I was feeling. Um, and then later on in the night, uh, a couple of her friends joined us, and we were talking about having the pressure of finding like a boyfriend or girlfriend. Um, and one of them, Grace, uh, told us she was like aware of that pressure, but felt zero pressure on herself. And she was 100% happy being single, with no intention of finding a boyfriend, or getting married, or having kids, or any of that. She was just really content with herself. Um, and that's kind of hard to find these days. Uh, and that reminded me of a book we've probably all read many years ago called You Are Special, where the wooden people give each other stars and dots. And then he finds the woman who didn't have any dots on, or stars on her, um, and so on. Um, and that was just really refreshing to have that perspective. Um, and it made the pressure I felt on myself, because a lot of it is um, done by yourself, or all of it, I guess. Um, so it made the pressure I put on myself so much less than it was. And... It was just a weight off my shoulders, and it felt really good. Um, and that's what I've been going through. Like, other stuff's happened, but that was the main thing I wanted to get across. Um, I've been reading this book, too, that someone gave me about the art of coming home. And they say it's more difficult to come home than it is to go away, and I agree with that. Um, so hopefully it... This week will be better, even though there's supposed to be a storm tomorrow, like a bad storm. Um, but the new episode of Sherlock is tomorrow, right? Um, so I'll be sure to have the first video out saying how right my theory was of Rosie being the master mastermind behind it all, and Eros was just fucking with Watson and not even their sister. Um, so keep the videos coming. I love to hear you guys. Um, and I'll see you next week. Bye.